No f***ing up. Oh my god. Alright, slow ball on spaghetti. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Final Destination 2. Now, like I said in the last video, the only thing I know about Final Destination is one, the plane crash, and two, the truck with the wooden logs on them. That's the only other thing I know about. Now, the plane crash was the last movie, obviously, so I know absolutely nothing about the second movie unless this is the one with the wooden logs if that's not in this one it might be in the third one the last movie was a lot of fun it's fun predicting everything that's gonna try and happen you know? so i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this movie if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as well as early access to the next two final destination movies will also be available on patreon or youtube membership so click the join button down below but anyways let's get started there we go if i need one good hard cut that i can shink this movie up with Crash shortly after takeoff from mm. JFK Airport. All right, give me one more hard cut. Hurry up. Oh my God! Stop giving me fades. Give me a cut. Oh my God! How fucking long is this guy? To... Uh, all right, I'll come back. Weird, seemingly random things about the. Oh. Well, I almost just fell. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Die. Finally, oh. damn. These so called everyday coincidence. What if you could do something about it? Please, are you listening to yourself? I mean, this is crazy. You're saying that we should be on guard. Hey, it sounds like he's on crack. Exactly what I'm saying. Exactly mm. it. And today may be your day to die. Yeah, that's, that's scary to think about it like that, dude. You could die any given moment. Okay. Alrighty. All right. How much do you guys want to bet after they get like their vision and, and they avoid their death? They're going to reach out to Alex and Terry and be like, how'd you guys do it? How'd you guys beat it? What the fuck? Watch it. Mm. They're on a freeway. Hmm. I, I think this is it. I thought the wooden truck thing was just was a death getting them back later. I didn't know that was a thing like they avoided. So to mark the one year anniversary of the crash of flight 180 will be held at Hey Kimberly, it's dead. Uh, hey, what's up? Why the, why the fuck was there blood on your car? Car's leaking transmission fluid. Mm. So I want you to get it checked right away. Bro, that was blood, not transmission fluid. And there's a fucking car behind us. Pull in the right lane now. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look, check your fucking blind spot. <laughs> she fucking look, she's... <laughs> mm, that, that's, that's what does it. Oh, I thought that was Selena Gomez. I was like, what the fuck? Hey, I think we better pull over and check the car because of... Kimberly, the car is gonna be fine. That's gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. When you haven't put oil in your engine in over a year, it's fine. I could jinx it. <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. oh my god, that's brutal. Oh fuck, that is so rude. That is so tough. That <laughs> they would not blow up like <laughs> Stop! Oh my god! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, I mean, alright, alright, I'm just, I'll go with it, whatever. Burning <laughs> alive wasn't enough, they needed another semi to go. Yep, yep, there you go, there's a vision. Fuck, I'm going to jail. Fucking going to jail. Bro, stay cool. What are you... Mm. Yep. That's it! That's, that's the truck that's gonna kill everybody! You mm. need to stop that truck! What the fuck is he supposed to do? Why won't you listen to me? Oh, there we go. Yep. It's like, it was gonna happen regardless. You, just, you guys just survived it, you know? There's no way you could possibly prevent it. Oh, 
Our fucking friends died though. Oh my god. Our friends die regardless. I mean, yeah, I guess it's about her and the other people people in the cars behind her, you know? How they're all gonna survive every or well, die off after this. That's why it emphasizes them so much. But like, damn, I didn't think her friends would die. I was gonna say, like, bro, that's kind of a lot of people to like focus on and kill off, but like that settles that. Look, I know this sounds crazy, but you guys all heard about Flight 180, right? Mm-hmm. Kita got off the plane. What happened a year ago today? Yeah, they did mention that earlier. My premonition was just like his. Yep. Another that's a Raven vision. So he got all his buddies off the plane? And then the thing blew up just like in his dream? Yeah. Yeah, but did you hear what happened after? Yeah, they all started dying. But then all the survivors started to die one by one. There was one survivor. Mm-hmm. We gotta find him. <laughs> Clear Rivers is in a padded room at the Stony Brook Institution. Damn. Damn, this fool just fucking cashed out about so much shit. And they said he just won the lottery, so. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this is gonna kill him right here, dude. He's gonna die right here. I'm calling it right now. Wait, the stove's off. What the fuck? <laughs> the stove is just on. Oh, oh, it is from that angle. Uh, I guess they actually turned it off between takes when they were switching the camera angle. <laughs> Don't tell me he just fucking microwaves it or some shit. I, thought... I guess. Say congratulations. His microwave is so just gonna fucking off. explode. <gasps> no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, his hand's stuck. Fuck. I've seen this before in a completely different context. Uh... It's gonna turn on too. The garbage disposal. Oh. And the fire alarm's not even going off. Oh, okay, okay, you guys hand out. I mean, it's still a problem. Oh. That's death saying you're not going anywhere, motherfucker. Okay. What, what? Watch him just slip on that fucking spaghetti. Watch him just slip on the spaghetti when he gets down there. He just fucking hits his head. And that's how he dies. <laughs> That'd be so dumb. <laughs> slip on the spaghetti. Slip on it. Slip on the spaghetti. Ooh. <laughs> he actually... Oh my god. Dude, you're so lucky, but unlucky. Oh! Never mind. It got his ass. But he actually slipped on the damn spaghetti. <laughs> Yep, Carter. Now this cop is doing his own research. Oh my god. Oh, the girl got hit by a bus. Yeah, Todd. Oh, wait, the other girl's name wasn't Terry. Oopsie, my bad. Damn, he died? Oh, R.I.P. Alex. Is she dangerous or something? No, honey, she expects you are. Mm-hmm. Damn, this is super sad. She's in here now. And yeah, bro, she probably went insane. How long are they gonna keep her locked up like this? Depends on her, I guess. She's voluntary. Yep. Clear rivers. Don't come any closer. Yeah, death has to be real, real creative without it to kill her in here. That's for calling clear, uh, Terry. The survivors of Flight 180 died in the exact order they were originally meant to die in the plane crash. Mm -hmm. Well, the other guy already died, and he was the second to last person to die, so... You said that someone else died last night. That means someone must have intervened. Officer Burke pulled me away from the crash to kill me. He'll be the last to go. Once the others are dead, it'll come back for you. Like it did for her. She put herself in here, because they thought they beat it, but it killed Carter, and it killed Alex, and no. But my friends died last in my premonition, not first. Wait. It died. Then Evan. Then me and my friends. Watch out for the signs. What? Good, good fucking luck, buddy. That's what she just said. Recognizing those signs usually means the difference between life and death. You gotta help me. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. <sighs> but, but you beat it. No. No, she didn't. What did I beat, Kimberly? If you were smart, you'd save yourself and just forget about the others. 
How yeah, can yeah, you yeah. say that? You have a responsibility. She, no, she doesn't. My friends are dead. That's how I can say that. And this is what happened to Alex when I was responsible for him. Damn. Get out. Right, you know what? 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 I think you're a coward. I think you're a bitch. You hide out in here because you're too damn bitter and selfish to help any other person. I mean, she's right, but like... And you're already dead. Ooh, you, dude, honestly, yeah, if you're going to... The, this extent to live like this, you might as well be dead already, bro. This isn't life. This, it's gonna come for her as soon as she steps out of this room. Like, she'll beat it as long as she's in this room, and that's no way to live life. So she'll be miserable, I guess. But at least she'll be alive. <sighs> I was just gonna say something like that after, too. Pigeons. It's a sign. A sign of what? If Claire's right about the order, then uh, Nora and Tim are, are gonna be attacked by pigeons. <laughs> I'm not fine. If we don't find them, they're gonna die. What is she about? What is she about to realize here? She she was wrong this entire time. Yeah, she's gonna come out and help Kimberly. Yep. Oh God, it's horrible. Oh. <clears throat> the doctor's ready for you. If he gives me the gas and I wake up with my pants unbuttoned, we ain't paying. <laughs> Tim. Jesus Christ, Tim. Oh God. Mom says you've been having some pain lately. <laughs> <laughs> this construction, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, the fish did get sucked in by the thing. It's like finding Nemo in here. Oh my god. Dude, what's about to happen is he's about to be like cleaning his mouth or whatever, and then he's gonna have like one of the drills and he's just gonna, he's just gonna get Tim. Disappointed, Tim. Oh, that's about to just fucking take both their heads off. The construction worker is gonna fuck up and just gonna swipe their heads clean off. Ooh. Oh, pigeons. Yeah. Damn. 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 Oh god, ah! Oh, damn, these pigeons are ruthless. Get these pigeons fucking crack into the window this hard. Ooh. Oh my god, he's really bad choke. Bro, your hands are- Oh, he said you can't move much because of gas. That's all right. Oh, okay, never mind. Gene, how's Tim doing in there? He's good. Oh, yeah, okay, it's so yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god, I just straight up fucking collapsed. Bro, this movie is so much more fucking brutal than the last one by far. It's not even close. Nora's not coming, she won't leave her son. No, but she's next. Right. Bro, she doesn't have a son anymore. <laughs> That fool got compressed. <laughs> Doesn't even have a recognizable body. The only thing in that body bag is fucking spaghetti. I feel bad for the bomb, dude. Like, she seemed like a really good person. And it's just like, just dude, seeing your son be killed like that. Like, oh my god. The Clear Rivers are just full of shit. And Evan Lewis's death was just some freak accident. Nah. I mean, bro, now that two of them have died, fuck no, that's not a freak accident. Now I'd be, I'd be fully convinced now. I know you didn't ask for any of this, but I don't think you have it in you to quit either. Mm-hmm. What's her? How, how'd you know where I live? Second one just died. 15 year old kid. I hope you're ready for this. I hope Claire doesn't die, bro. I'll be so about her if she dies. I mean, I guess it's still coming for her, but like, I'll be so about her. What's this guy gonna help us anyway? He seemed to know a hell of a lot more about death than he ever told us. Oh, from the last movie when they broke in? See, like, Todd's body? Yeah. I mean, bro, he might as well just be Mobius at this point. <laughs> you can't cheat death. There are no escapes. Bullshit. <laughs> you told me death has a distinct design. But Alex and I cheated death Ooh, not- Always oh, nibble, please. The design is flawed. It can be beaten. Mm -hmm. Such fire, you know. People are always most alive just before they die. Oh my god, I don't want to see him rip that off. Ah! I heard it. Please, if you know of anything that could help us. Only new life can defeat death. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> For every life, there's a death. For every death, there is a life. For the introduction of life that was not meant to be, that could invalidate the list. Mm. You have to follow the signs. Kimberly. How do you know my name? He's Mobius. <laughs> the smile. He just knows all. Guess out. Oh no, in the gas. Oh, yeah, what the fuck's wrong? What the fuck are you thinking? Yeah. Little <laughs> punk. Ooh, another vision. 
Mm, they're gonna crash into the lake. Are you walking like five dogs? Uh, I must have lost control because I crashed into a lake and mm -hmm. I, I drowned. Wait, remember the on ramp? There was a pregnant woman in a white delivery van. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Design. It throws the whole list out of whack and we start over with a clean slate. Mm -hmm. Seems like a bit of a reach, don't you? So we have to make sure she gives birth. The pregnant lady's number. I don't have it. She never came to the station. We have to find her. We have to warn her about the lake so she can stay alive long enough to have the baby. Yep. How are we going to find her? There could be thousands of white vans in the state. Hey. He's a cop. I'm a cop, remember? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Hey, hold the door! <sighs> oh my god. Oh. <gasps> oh, I thought that was about to start going up. <laughs> now you're just gonna wanna take half. <laughs> Keep coming. Yeah, I do feel bad for the mom though, dude. Laura, right. you okay? <laughs> no. Four years ago, my husband died. Damn. Now, Tim, there's nothing left for me. If it is my time to go and be in heaven Aww. with my family, I can accept that. Aww. If we just stick together long enough for her to have her baby. Do you know if you excuse me? I have a funeral to plan. I get it. She's just accepted it. Mm. Oh, so many sharp objects in here. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, nope, 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 nope. Throw that shit on the ground. Shut the door. Nope. Oh. Ah, get the fuck out of the closet. I mean, he's just fine, but like, still, bro. Why'd you just stand there like a fucking dummy? What the fuck? I think I see a man with hooks. The dude in the elevator with all those hooks. Is that? Yeah, yeah, yes, it's a sign. A man with hooks is gonna kill you. <gasps> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh no, it's gonna pull her up. Oh no, bro. Why you gotta give her the most brutal death? She doesn't deserve this. Ah. Oh my god. Oh, she, oh my god. Damn. Well, RIP, Nora, dude. What is I control my life! What happened? Where's Nora? Oh. oh, he's freaking out. <sighs> Just tell us what happened. Alright, give me the gun, Eugene. Eugene's gonna die right here, boy. It's gonna be some bullshit, dude. Some bullshit with chain of events is gonna happen and he's gonna die. Don't do it! Don't do it! Eugene. Right. Hey, Eugene, Eugene, no! Hey. I'd rather go out like that, dude. You will be open! Oh What are the what are the odds? What bro, you Bro, what kind of cop are you? You just carry a gun that's not even loaded? Oh. We're all duds. Six in a row? Wow. Never. Death? That's impossible. Death said fucking no. Yep. I'd, I'd so much rather go out with a gun in my head than get my like head ripped off. At least like Tim's death was like somewhat quick. Like Nora suffered a bit. But yeah, Death's not gonna let him die on his own terms. <sighs> but you said she was gonna drive into a lake. How can she if she's in protective custody? She could die some other way. <sighs> Bro, no gun safety at all by this cop. When I get out of here, I am going to sue him. Mm. What? What now? What do you think? My water just broke. Yeah. Here, no, you can't do this to me. Don't just stand there. Get me to a hospital. Just give me a second to think. Um. Bro, this cop's so incompetent. Get me to the hospital. Okay, okay. They're gonna crash on the way to the hospital, huh? She's gonna die and then she can't give birth. They're gonna crash into a lake on the way. You don't wanna hear something crazy? It's not the first time I cheated death. Hmm. Were you supposed to be on the flight? And you missed it? Would have knifed. Killed this teacher. The teacher would have been me. Last year my partner and I were heading out when a call came in about a train wreck. He died that night in a shootout. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I just, I, I got one too. It's like, uh, okay, so last May, I'm supposed to go... And, and so they all kind of cheated it earlier in their lives. There's this major gas leak that no one knows about, and all the guests suffocated during the night. <laughs> I, I don't know. I never made it. The, the, the bus I was on splattered some girl all over the road. <gasps> was that money, Abraham? Oh! It was Terry. How did you know? That bus you were on killed Terry Cheney. Fuck. She was supposed to die on flight 180. All of a sudden, this dude out of nowhere just gets whacked by this falling carter the teacher i replaced 
Hmm. Her name was Val Luton. She was from Mount Abram. She died in an explosion. Wow. That was the night I scraped up Billy Hitchcock. Wait a minute, hmm. wait, 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 wait a minute. Who are these people? These people all died in the last movie. People got off of Flight 180. They all had something to do with the last movie. Wow. Caught up watching this news report about some kid that committed suicide. Todd. How can you strangle yourself in the bathtub? <laughs> yeah, Todd. They all had some connection to the characters in the last movie, so they took their spots. When we got off Flight 180, it didn't just change our lives. It changed everyone else's. Why? It caused an outward ripple. If you had never gotten off the plane... Everyone in this car would be dead. We wouldn't be alive in the first place. Yes, that's why death is working backwards. It's tying up all the loose ends. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are they about to crash into each other? Oh my god. Oh, oh just fucking missed everyone. Did anyone die or did it miss them? Is everybody alright? No. <laughs> so close. No, it got Eugene! Put, push your seat back and then. Oh no, she's gonna die in this car. Sing off me, just pull, hurry. Okay, be careful. It's gonna cut her leg open as he pulls it out, huh? Ah! Oh, mm. God! Gee, everything's gonna be Let's okay. Let's get him going. All right, I'm... Watch it! Damn! Bro, that's the driver's fucking fault. <laughs> if you would've hit him, damn. Oh, oh no. Go on, I'll be, I'll be fine. No, you're not. You're gonna die. Oh, <gasps> oh my god. You Damn, RIP. Now all that shit's about to explode. Oh, okay. Yeah, the fucking wind's gonna guide this fucking. Alright. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's so brutal, dude. Very creative CGI, though. Very good use of it. <laughs> oh, what, 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 what? Oh, okay, she's getting a vision. Yeah, because they cheated the lake, so this is death countering their move. Crashing into the lake. I was in a hospital. I, they were screaming, and a nurse was trying to choke me, and I think a nurse named Kalarji was going to try and kill Isabella. Why? Two people dead. One of them killed by a safety device. Okay, Eugene's not dead yet. The airbag went off. <laughs> Fucking wind. Don't you hate when the wind does that? Oh, hey! Hey! Police business. Bro, bro, a doctor would have rushed in Eugene's room by now. Like, no chance. I've seen Grey's Anatomy. I see how fast they respond. <laughs> it's a boy. Right. Oh, okay. Baby's good. All right, cool. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> and Eugene's not going to die now. Oh, there we, there we go. Emergency battery mode. Nah, I feel like everyone's still gonna die. The movie's pump faking us. The movie, the movie wants us to think they're all gonna survive, but nah. No, no, don't worry. She had the baby. It's okay. Mm, oh, another vision. Oh no. I don't think Isabella was ever supposed to die in that pilot. Fuck. Uh, oh, they were resuscitating her. Oh, Doctor Collarsen wasn't choking her. She's trying to save her. Oh no, it's gonna kill clear. No! 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 Fuck. RIP my girl. Damn. RIP clear. We got too cocky. We got too cocky, guys. But, yep. it's, it's me. The premonitions are about me. Yeah, no shit. Lake. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? You crash. What is it? I know what I have to do to save us. I have to die. Bro, save save who? There's only this cop's like the only guy they left alive. Get Galarjian. <laughs> nice dive. No, I'm not even gonna lie, dude. One time I tried to dive in a pool and I, I just committed to it as Scorpion until bad. You know, I don't want to like belly flop like like how he did. How he kind of landed on his stomach. I tried to just get that perfect angle, but I over rotated. Mm, 
got her. Somehow we got her out. Some fucking out, all right? Hey, we did it. <laughs> no, no, I don't believe it. I'm just, no, no, no. I don't believe it. They're both gonna die somehow. Or one of them's gonna live, but for the next movie. So they can explain to the new cast in the next movie. But like, I don't trust that this movie's gonna end like this. Brian, I think you better go check that barbecue. <laughs> Well, Brian was almost hit by that news van that day in the field. He um he pulled him back at the last second, saved his life. Boy, that was lucky. Mm, I fucked everything. Up. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, oh his arm. All right. Well, that was Final Destination Two. All right. I think. I Ooh, okay, there's parts of this movie I like more than the first one, but I would say as a storyline, I like the first one better, but I like the deaths, this one better, to be honest. I feel like these ones were more gory. They were definitely more gory in this one, but not as much character development for everyone. So a little bit different take on that, which honestly is kind of refreshing because they can't just do the same exact thing. They have to spice it up in a different way, you know, like less character development, just more straight to the point. You know, these guys, the characters are going to die. And like the movie knows that we know how this shit works. So they had to kind of get over that pretty quick. You know, just just a little refresher just in case someone doesn't know. But, it's, you know, and yeah, these movies aren't really about if a character's going to die. They're more about how they're going to die. And that's what makes it fun. You know, I feel like this movie made it more interesting on how they're going to die. It was a little bit more fun to guess throughout this movie, to be honest. So I did enjoy that part of this one. But yeah, I can't wait for the third one. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. If you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.